Hey TCS TV viewers, it's Evelyn. And Dave coming to you from the camera store and we're here in Cologne, Germany to cover Photokina. Yeah, we are on the tallest point of Cologne in the famous cathedral and you can hear the bells ringing behind us. It's 10 a.m. and we just <laughs> climbed 533 stairs to get up here. Yeah, I'm still a little bit dizzy. They're all spiral staircases, so be prepared if you want to do this. Yeah, now the reason why we're in Cologne is because we're here for Photokina, uh, which is one of the biggest trade shows in the world. So we've seen a lot of really big announcements, a lot of exciting hardware has come out. So we're going to give you some of the highlights of the show and show you around Cologne as well. So since Brendan's with us, hit it with the montage. So we have the opportunity to bring around with us a brand new Canon EOS R camera and some RF lenses. Yeah, as we were walking around the crowd with it, we got a lot of attention because there wasn't many out in the wild yet, so it's yes. kind of nice. Yeah, I thought people were checking us out, but I think it was the camera. <laughs> it's always the gear. <laughs> it's always the gear to show like this. Yeah, now with Canon, we went and checked out their booth, and I have to say, I think Canon might win for best booth. They had a really cool demo where they had some air circulating with silks and ballerinas, and it was a really great demo to check out the Canon EOS R and some of their new lenses. Um, now they had a pre-production 28 to 70 millimeter f2 lens. Yeah, now we're not allowed to show you any images from that lens, but I can tell you it's very sharp, it's big and heavy, but the look is amazing. Yeah. Uh, also, we have the 402.8 version 3 and the new 600 f4 version 3, which is significantly lighter than the previous generation. Yeah, now we stuck that onto the Canon EOS R with the adapter and we didn't notice any autofocusing issues and we were really impressed with the feel of those lenses. You could pretty much just toss them around, no problem. Hey guys, we're holding the Canon 600 f4 version 3. This thing is crazy light for its size, focuses incredibly quick. This is a pretty fun lens. It does remind me a lot of the Sony 400mm lens. It has the multifunction ring, it yeah. just moves a little bit. Um, it has the control buttons as well, Super light. stabilization no. modes. It's definitely, it definitely Canon through and through, but it is... Impressive. Let's see if we can get the 400. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> this is really light. Holy smokes. So this is supposedly a few ounces lighter than the, the Sony. We have it on the uh, EOS R adapter here. And just seeing how quick this thing focuses. And it racks focus pretty quick. All right, check this out. This is, the, this is the brand new 28 to 70 f2 lens. This thing is a beast, but it is impressive. Yeah, it's, it's crazy that the new RF lenses, they weigh more than <laughs> Things were a little bit quiet over in Sony's corner this year. We were really hoping to see a new camera announcement from them, but they did announce a new lens. So it's a brand new 24 millimeter 1.4 G Master lens, and I was pleasantly surprised at the size and weight of this lens. Considering that the 2470 2.8 or the 85 1.4 uh, G Master lenses are quite heavy and big, this was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, and videographers are going to be happy because they've incorporated their clickless aperture option on the aperture ring so that you can have really smooth transitions while you're shooting video. One of the busiest booths this year was the Fujifilm exhibit. They had a brand new announcement, the GFX 50R, which is basically a rangefinder camera with a 50 megapixel sensor in it. Yeah, this is really cool. So they've taken the same sensor and processor as the GFX 50S, and they just put it into this new smaller form factor. They've also lowered the price significantly, so it's gonna be much more affordable for people to get into a medium format camera system. Yeah, if you love the aesthetics of medium format, I think this could be a really viable option. Yeah, we had the chance to test it out at the show. These were pre-production units, but it was really cool to play around with them, so you can check out what we thought. Okay, so we finally got our hands on the GFX 50R, and it's identical to the GFX 50S. It just has a different form factor to it. It certainly does. It's, it's much more of a, it's a rangefinder, so uh, much smaller in stature. It's much thinner than the predecessor right there. Yeah, and lighter too. So I think this is going to appeal to a lot of landscape guys, right? Something lighter. Uh, we're going to work with this. It'll be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we already know the image quality out of this sensor is beautiful. 
So uh, putting it into a smaller form factor, it's going to be really cool. Um, we do have a new on-off switch though. New on-off switch, yeah. The dials are feeling good. They still feel really nice and tactile. Um, yeah. The shutter is nice. One of the other exciting things that Fuji was cooking up this year is they've released the development of a new 100 megapixel medium format sensor. And it's very exciting because they're offering in-body image stabilization. Now this is a first in a medium format camera. Yeah, it's also going to incorporate for the first time ever phase detection autofocus on a medium format sensor camera as well. So this is impressive what Fuji's got going on. One of the announcements that we're really excited about is Panasonic's development of a whole new full frame mirrorless camera system. Yes, the Panasonic S1 and S1R are two versions of the same camera. One's 24 megapixels, one's 47 megapixels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now they're really targeting this at professionals and they've thrown everything at it. We had the opportunity to test out a working pre-production copy of this camera. Yeah, now the reason why is because we had an interview lined up with Mr. Yumani, who's the head of Panasonic's imaging division, and he was able to answer some questions for us. Some of them are not even allowed to share with you guys, but the main thing is that he told us all about how they've been listening to professionals and consumers to develop a camera that has everything that people want. Yeah, now physically this camera is much bigger than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. You think Panasonic, you think small mirrorless cameras, but this is a bigger, heavier camera. We noticed that the ergonomics felt really good, and they've included so many things in this camera that it needs to be bigger. Now it is a much bigger camera system but you're getting a lot of great features with that added size. Expecting it's going to have really good battery life. It also has a hundred percent weather sealing and they're telling us that it'll be able to operate in really cold conditions maybe even as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. So when we're out in minus 40 shivering the in-body image stabilization should be a huge benefit. Yeah it also has two card slots including an XQD as well as an SD card slot. Um, so this is really an all-around professional camera that has everything you could want in it. The other exciting thing is this partnership that they developed with Sigma and Leica. Uh, this is really big news for Panasonic, especially with the Sigma side of things. Now they're going to have the Sigma lenses developed specifically for L-mount, and if you're an EF Canon lens user, they're going to have the option to actually convert your Sigma lenses to L-mount lenses, and if you want to keep them EF, they'll also have an adapter. Speaking of Sigma, they had a bunch of new stuff to show off and we had a chance to check out their booth. Here are our thoughts. We're at Sigma's booth and Sigma has some pretty exciting things going on right now. Yeah, they had some big announcements yesterday, right, with yes. the new Panasonic. Yeah, new partnership with Panasonic and they've also released five new full frame lenses. And also three new cinema lenses. Yeah, we're hoping we can get our hands on some, maybe the 56 millimeter. I think they have a demo of it over here. Let's go Let's check do it out. So this is a rare occurrence to see a brand new Sigma lens that can fit in the palm of my hand. This is the 56mm f1.4 in the micro four thirds mount. Yeah, it's going to be available in Sony mounts soon, but this is a really cool little lens. If you like doing portraits, this might be the one lens for you. Yeah, it's, it's going to be nice for traveling. I think it's fantastic. And it's uh, after our 105 review, this mm -hmm. thing is so tiny. Best thing Sigma has this year, branded candy. They're really yummy little like European gummy I got one for you, Brendan, don't worry. <laughs> so at Photokina, there was a bunch of announcements before the show and at the very beginning of the show, but there's a few camera companies that slipped in a few near the end of the show. Yeah, there was the new Ricoh GR3, which now is going to have built-in image stabilization and a few other upgrades. So we're excited to see that later in the spring. There's also one from Zeiss that's kind of interesting. Yeah, so for all you card slot lovers out there, you're not going to like this camera very much. It doesn't have a card slot at all, but a built-in <laughs> 512 gigabyte SSD drive. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting. Apparently it's going to have Lightroom built into it. So we're really excited to see what these newer announcements are going to have for us later on in the spring. It looks similar to Profoto. Oh, so I never no? <laughs> mentioned it. This is not a, my territory. You make me shy. Uh. <laughs> so aside from the major camera releases, there are all kinds of other products at Photokina. A million tripods, a million different lighting solutions, and all kinds of yeah. weird and wacky accessories for cameras. Oh yeah, there's bags, there's apparel, there's tripods, there's brackets, there's clamps, <laughs> there's like anything that you can think of that's somehow related to photography, it is at Photokina. Zitta, 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 zitta. Zitta, zitta, zitta. Thank you so much for following along on our adventures in Cologne, Germany to cover Photokina. Yeah, now this was a really special Photokina because it's the last time that they're offering it once every two years in the fall. They're now moving to a once a year format in the spring, so we're really not sure what that means for future Photokinas. But Dave and I are really glad we got to experience Cologne and Germany and all the amazing hospitality that's here. Now I've had a lot of schnitzel this week. Yeah, I've had a lot of Kolsch. And Red Bull. And Brennan's had a lot of pretzels, but we've also <laughs> had a lot of fun. So we're really glad we were able to come and you guys are able to join us for the 
the ride. Now let us know what you thought of Photokina and all of the new releases by commenting below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. We know we like getting the likes. And we'll catch you guys again soon.